How many mouse pads have you bought since 2012? If the answer is more than one, then the Spire Kamek might just be the pad that you're looking for. Spire is a new Australian peripherals brand founded on the idea of value for money, customer service, and competitive advantage. Their first product, the Kamek Mousepad, is a bit of a challenge to the rest of the industry, with a 10-year replacement warranty offered on every single cloth mousepad sold, all for 30 US dollars. The Kamek is a 480 by 400 mm control pad four millimeters thick, features stitched edging, and is an attractive steel gray color. It ships rolled in a poster tube container which thankfully contains no plastic whatsoever. The soft pad base used by this is very imprint sensitive, and the way it's rolled was quite reminiscent of the Extrafy GPZ-1, arriving in a pretty similar condition if I'm honest. Thankfully, Spire include a compliment slip with advice on what to do and how to expect the pad to arrive. I took photos of the initial unboxing and subsequent hours onwards so you guys could see with me the journey that I had from creased and dented initial pad to what looks like a pretty premium flat pad after a day or so. The edge stitching is below the surface of the pad, so positive there, but it is a bit uneven in places, in particular the stitching of the corners with three of the four not being smooth curves. This doesn't impact the pad's performance, but is a bit of a negative on an otherwise cosmetically attractive pad. I'd like to see this worked on, plus the consistency of the edge stitching in future iterations. The 4mm base is soft to touch, feeling quite similar to an Artisan Soft. It compresses easily, allowing for greater mouse control, and I found it very comfortable for longer sessions on the wrist. The backing is sticky, and once the pad was down, there was absolutely no chance of movement, even with aggressive flicks or whole arm swipes. The Spire logo is discreet and placed in the bottom right hand corner, but it is a heat print as opposed to a heat die, so you do feel it if you slide over it, it will cause some friction and resistance on the skate. In the future, I think a die or die transfer might be better here, it'd still be attractive and minimal, but wouldn't impact glide on any of the surface. Now the pad isn't water repellent like the Fnatic Focus 3, but it does have some degree of water resistance, so you should be able to easily clean any accidental spillages. This also means that the pad will have some level of resistance to humidity, but to what extent that is, I can't say. All of my testing was done in a standard humidity in a heated room that was between 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface is quite an unusual weave. While smooth to touch, it has a high level of friction and plays a lot like a control pad. The smooth surface makes initial movements and micro adjustments straightforward, but it doesn't prevent quicker flicks, giving you plenty of stopping power when you need the mouse cursor to stop. In that way, I'd say that it's a control pad that does have some of the characteristics and behaviors of a speed pad. In terms of the glide profile, I'd say it's most similar to the Zowie GSR, the SteelSeries QCK, or even the X-Ray pad Aqua Speed from my collection. Whilst the glide profile is similar on these pads, none of them have the 4mm soft base, which made me more comfortable and consistent on the Spire Kamek to my surprise. I'm not sure I'd say the Spire Kamek is a better pad than the Zowie GSR, but I could certainly see it being something that could be interchangeably used between the two, while still maintaining the same degree of consistency and level of play performance. At 30 US dollars, the Spire Kamek is priced alongside the Zowie GSR and a little bit more expensive than a SteelSeries QCK or Aquaspeed respectively, which makes it pretty attractive, I guess, against them, all things considered. Unfortunately, with the pad dispatching from Australia, it adds a further 15 to 20 dollars for most people outside domestic Australian customers, which makes it maybe a little bit less of an attractive value proposition in that respect, landing at between 45 to 50 dollars. Now, whilst the all-in price may be a little bit more than the competition, the 10-year warranty is something that might make the Kamek an attractive choice for you. Assuming you get on with the Spire Kamek, your initial purchase covers your mousepad needs for the next decade. It's a pretty bold statement and something that I think Spire should really be commended for doing. Respecting their customers with generous after-sales service is a good way for them to build loyalty and establish their brand as a positive influence in the peripheral space. Ultimately, the real test will be how people vote with their wallet to support this approach, but I think Spire do deserve the attention for the positive change that they're trying to make in the industry. The Spire Kamek is a good first outing for the brand. I hope that we can see improvements in the areas that I outlined and Spire to continue putting their customers first and valuing their purchases into the future and I wish them every success on any additional releases.